In this brief tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to set up your object tracking using your video clips, as well as defining things within your video to be able to track. The first thing you want to do is pull a video into your timeline. In this case, I have a Zamboni cleaning the ice between periods at a hockey game, and I'd like to be able to track the Zamboni to make a little title uh, as a segue to use within my video production. So the first thing you do is click the clip to select it, and now my clip is selected. Then I click the new button called Track Motion. And within Track Motion, you have the same sort of transport control. You can scrub around your clip as you like. You can play, you can frame advance and go to the end and that sort of thing. But you'll notice that the UI has a couple of extra pieces. One is a list of trackers. You can have as many trackers as you like for a video clip. So for instance, I could track the Zamboni, or I could track the hockey net, or I could track a piece on the ice, whatever I like to do. In this case, it comes with one tracker, and I've already tracked something before, so let me just turn that one off. You can use the little eye there to make a tracker visible or invisible. I'll hit the plus sign to be able to open up a new tracker, and right away the tracker shows in the center of the screen with a placeholder image above it. Now that placeholder image is something that you can use later on in your video productions. I tend not to use these. I can attach a tracker uh, after I have tracked an object directly to a title or to a clip. So I'm going to turn that off. Now you select your tracker and you'll notice it zooms in and you find some place in your video clip where you'd like to track. One caution is to make sure your pieces that you track if you want to have long tracks uh, is to make sure that they do not go behind other things in the video because the tracker will lose its reference. In this case here I'm going to track on this world, word and you can see right there there's my tracker. There's my position in the timeline. Now I'm just going to hit record and this is going to record the motion of the tracker. You can see here now it's tracking along with the Zamboni and it's going through the clip and there I have it. You can see the tracker path, the position on the path right now with this little red frame showing which frame I'm on. If I scrub back here you'll notice that little red dot moves around to show me what current frame I'm in. So it was just that simple. Let's track something else. So I'm going to start about here and I can scrub back here later. Let me add a tracker. But first let me rename this tracker because as you start adding a tree of trackers you want to make sure that you categorize them correctly. So here I'll pick tracker number two. I'll click on the rename and I'm going to say Zamboni. And then I'm going to add another tracker. So same as before the tracker shows up in the middle by default with a placeholder image on top. Let me just turn that matched object off. Then I'm going to track, for instance, bottom corner of the net right there. So I'll record now. And now you can see the Zamboni's moving. You can see the track, track sort of grayed out over there. And there I have it. So there's my track for the net. So I'll say OK. Once I've said OK, you'll notice now on your clip you have a little tracker icon on the left hand side. This information is stored with the clip, so in your future projects, when you go to use this clip, that tracker uh, information will travel with the clip, so you can use it in other productions without having to retrack your objects. So let me go in now and just add a title to my Zamboni. So in Video Studio, of course, you have the title track. Let me just scrub to where I want to go. One thing you'll also notice is that there's a blue line on the top of your clip. That blue line designates where the tracker is uh, has been tracked. You can track different parts of your clip, so you don't have to track your whole clip. In this case, I have the whole clip tracked. So I'm going to go in here and add a title. So double click in my title line and double click where I want my font to go. And I'm going to type in a title. Clean the ice. And I'll position that wherever I want on the screen here. Now the tracker, if I just use this as a title by itself, it will be, as usual, just in the middle of the screen here and the video will move behind it. So what I want to do is attach this title to the tracker I made. So the first thing I do is I make my title good size so I can see it. Then I go down to my title track, right click on the title, and say Match Motion. This will match the motion of a tracker. So here's the Match Motion dialog. You can see right away the title has been scaled and put into a position on the Zamboni itself. I can pick the tracker that I want to use, and you can see here the different trackers. I'm going to track Zamboni. Okay, so there we have the Zamboni track. And as I scrub through here, you'll notice the Video Studio will scrub the video as well. So let me just go in here and just pick that tracker again. 
Okay. And you can see there, as I track through here, it's now starting to follow because my tracker information wasn't on the full part of that front part of the clip. It's on the latter half of the clip. So you can see here the title is following the Zamboni. If I say OK now, you'll notice that the title is moving with the Zamboni at a particular point. There it is. So what I can do is just go onto my title and I can shorten my title here too. You can see there's the track. I can shorten my title so it just starts right at the beginning of where the tracker was. And there we go. Now it's tracking along with the Zamboni. So here I'm scrubbing through and there I have cleaned the ice so on and so forth. Now if I want to just quickly change the size of that title, click on it and then right click and select match motion again. Then I can go in here on this first keyframe and scale it. So there I have clean the ice. Now in the next tutorial I'll talk more in depth about the keyframing but suffice to say at the moment here we have a, a keyframe at the beginning and a keyframe at the end and because I only changed the one keyframe Video Studio will scale that title as it goes goes through here. I didn't want that to happen, so what I can do is just copy this keyframe uh, information and put it at the end here. So I just right click on that keyframe and say copy and paste to all. Now the title will stay the same size. And I'll say OK. And then I'll play this through. And you can see now the title is moving with the Zamboni. So that was the introduction of creating a tracker on a video clip and adding a title to that tracker. In the next tutorial, we'll talk about how to modify your keyframes within the tracker.